right, in this video, T's math tips video number six. This is a distance rate time word problem. A taxi driver drives from town A to town B in six hours at a certain average speed. Heading back to town A from town B, it takes the driver four hours at an average speed that is 20 miles per hour faster than the trip from A to B. What is a taxi driver's average speed heading back to town A? Now a formula that maybe you know, maybe you don't know, but rate times time equals distance. For example, if you travel 40 miles per hour for two hours, you'll go 80 miles. So I'm taking a speed, a rate, 40 times two, 40 miles per hour times two hours is 80 miles. Let's keep that formula in mind. What we're trying to figure out here is the taxi driver's average speed heading back to town A. So we're talking about uh, this trip heading back to town A from town B. Now, if I take six times R, six times R, I'm talking about this trip from town A to town B. We know how long it took, six. That's gonna be our time. Six is our time in hours times some rate, I'm calling that R. So six times R, this is going to be the distance from A to B. Because if we take a rate that we don't know, an average speed that we don't know, times some time we know is six hours, we get a distance. Well, this is the distance from A to B. Now, heading back to town A from town B, it takes the driver four hours, okay? Four hours at an average speed that is 20 miles per hour faster than the trip from A to B. Well, the speed from A to B was this R. We did not know what that was. Since we know that this rate or this speed is 20 miles per hour faster, we want to take that speed from up here and add 20 to it. That's what 20 miles per hour faster means. We're taking our rate at which the taxi driver was driving from A to B and we're tacking on 20 more to it because it's 20 miles an hour faster. So this is the distance from B to A. Now I'm showing you the algebraic approach here and of course you could guess and check on this problem. Guessing and checking, there's nothing wrong with that. We're actually going to get our answer using algebra and then we're gonna check our work and see that this in fact does make sense and it does work out. Well think about this, the distance from A to B, the distance from B to A, that's the same daggone thing because we're going from point A to point B, then we're going from point B back to point A. That means these two distances here, 6R, that distance, and 4 times R plus 20, this distance, they're equal. Therefore, we want to set these two expressions equal to each other, and we want to solve for R. So therefore, we have 6R is equal to 4R plus 80. What I did here is I distributed 4 times R is 4R, 4 times 20 is 80. Let's get the R's on one side. I'm gonna subtract 4R from both sides to get the R on the left-hand side because 4R minus 4R cancels out. 6R minus 4R gives us 2R is now equal to 80. That's the only thing we have left over there. Let's divide both sides by two now, solving this equation. Two divided by two gives us one. So we have one R or just R is equal to 40. Now let's be very careful here. Let's read that question one more time. What is the taxi driver's average speed heading back to town A? When the driver's heading back to town A, the driver is going at an average speed that is 20 miles per hour faster than his trip from A to B. This 40 represents the speed that the driver was driving at from A to B. However, this speed here is the speed we're looking for because it says, what is the taxi driver's average speed heading back to town A? So this distance from B to A, we want to use this speed right here. How do we find that? We take our 40, we plug it in, 40 plus 20 gives us 60. So our answer to this problem is 60 miles per hour. Now let's check our work here. So what is the distance from A to B? Remember how we got R is equal to 40. If we take six times 40, 40 miles per hour times six hours, that's equal to 240 miles. Hopefully we will get 240 miles for this next one as well. Four times 40 plus 20. 
Now this should be the same distance. Well, let's see, that's gonna be four times 60, right? 40 plus 20 gives us 60, and four times 60 gives us 240 miles. So notice here that we do get equal distances, and that's what you have to infer from this problem. If you're going from point A to point B, then you're going from point B back to point A, we need to make that assumption that the distances are the same. And in this case, that's definitely what we want to do here. Now again, guessing and checking would work just fine. You know, you could try to guess maybe 20 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour, 40 miles an hour, but sometimes if you get funky answers where maybe you have decimals or fractions involved, guessing and checking can become quite a nuisance. And here, you know, setting these things up, understanding how to set up a rate times a time equals some distance. Uh, we set up two expressions here, and then ultimately understanding that we need to set these two distances equal to each other. And then again, be very careful and make sure you answer the question that you're being asked. We wanted to find the taxi driver's average speed heading back to town A. That wasn't 40. 40 miles per hour was the average speed going from A to B, but heading back to A, the distance from B back to A is the rate 40 plus 20, and that's how we got 60 for our final answer. And there you have it, T's Math Tips video number six, and that's it for this video. I hope it helped.